Hello there, Leo. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to January of 2022. Yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general reading. Yes, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. The reading is going to be split into two parts. First half, we're going to be talking to Leo Rising, in which we're going to be looking at the chart the astrology chart for the month and speaking to what's going on for you and then pulling their messages there for you keep in mind that when i do speak to the astrology i am viewing it from the true sidereal point of view so if you're unfamiliar with that you've never seen it before or you're just curious i highly encourage you to stick around and listen to see how it resonates for you yes after that, they're going to go to the second half of the reading, which is just going to be a big old energetic pull for the collective of Leo. And that part of the reading is non-denominational. Yes, it doesn't matter what form of astrology you ascribe to. If you resonate with Leo energy in whatever way, or you want to cross watch for a Leo, then that is most likely the best place for you to go. Yes. Um, so that second half is going to be sun, moon, rising, Venus, whatever. Yeah. So check for the timestamps in the description box below. Also in the pinned comment down below. If you are new here, hi, my name is Eric. It is so wonderful to meet you. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I am available for private readings. If you would like to get a private reading with me, all you got to do is check out the description box below where you will find a list of some of the readings that I offer. Also my email address. Just shoot me an email. Let me know you're interested in a reading and I will get you all set up. Also, if you would like extra content with me throughout the month, check us out over on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link for that can be found in the description box below as well. All right, guys, let's get into this. Starting with Leo rising. Hi, Leo. Welcome to January. Yeah. So for my Leo risings here, the as I was sitting here with your chart, and we're going to get into a into the chart in a second. But as I was sitting here with your chart, Leo, um, I was, it, I don't want to say the energy felt blank. It, uh, the, the, the vibe for you this month, Leo, is kind of being ahead of the curve. And that's why your title is ahead of the curve. Yes. But um, what I feel like is happening for you this month is, first of all, I feel like you're having a really easy time of all of this because the big things that we've been talking about here for the month so the conjunction between the sun and pluto uh the and then moving on down the line the conjunction between mars venus and and pluto this is all happening in your fifth house and that is your house okay this is your house of personal expression this is what i'm feeling here is this is your house where you feel most comfortable of being expressive and having fun and lighthearted type energy like that, being joyful, being playful. Um, what I feel like is happening here for you this month, Leo, is that there's an activation in terms of how you have been shifting personally as Uranus has been making its retrograde motion. Let's get into the chart and let me just show you here. So what you've got in front of you is the chart for Leo rising for January of 2022. And as you can see, Leo, Uranus has been up here in your ninth house, transiting through Aries. Um, and, and during this retrograde motion, I feel like there has been a, a, a much, uh, there has been a lot of, I want to, <clears throat> I want to call it philosophical expansion. Okay. So you, as, as, um, as, Uranus has been making its retrograde transit ever since mid to late uh, August of last year in, ter uh, uh, in terms of uh, tropical astrology, I believe it was Leo season, maybe towards the very end of Leo season. That's in terms of tropical astrology, but we're not talking about tropical. We're talking about sidereal here. Um, I feel like there has been a philosophical expansion for you. And that's kind of part of why, where um, I get this feeling of you kind of being ahead of the curve. Um, it feels at this point you may be having an easier time with the shifts that have been happening versus some other people around you. And one of the big, one of the major images that I got for you this month, Leo, was maybe people around you scrambling 
kind of seeming like they're running around with like chickens with their heads cut off um, because of all because of this infusion of energy that is happening between the sun and Pluto when they go con conjunct later on this month on the 16th, right? Because then the, new, the full moon, which is right after that, which is, in, which is helping to empower this infusion of energy that we're getting from the conjunction between the sun and Pluto. The day after that, we have the full moon. So there's a lot of extreme energy that could really be, go, or, or a lot of extreme situations or extreme realizations that could be going down for the people around you. Also for yourself, I'm not saying you're not being affected by this, but Leo, at this point, I feel like you have learned so much. You have expanded so much. I'm hearing for some of you, you have a new world view even. Um, and as the sun conjuncts with Pluto, I was feeling through that for you. And it's kind of like you were standing there saying, yeah, tell me something I don't know. Like, it's almost like this, this conjunction between the sun and Pluto is feeling kind of blasé for you because you're you're already standing in that empowerment anyway okay so what does this mean for you well this means that you could be expressing yourself in a new way and quite frankly quite honestly you may have entered into this new year into the month of january already expressing this already embodying this okay it's the 9th of january january at this point by the time that I'm recording this reading. So I feel like the sun and Pluto conjunction has is already affecting you. What I'm hearing is you're already embodying this new change, this new empowerment. Um, and so that's kind of leaving you available to care for the people around you. And it's very interesting because as I said that, you, you have the Knight of Swords that's come out here. I feel like you're riding into battle on behalf of on behalf of some of the other people or some of the people that are around you that are kind of really being shaken up by this explosion of energy this month. Um, let's see. Now, yes, I'm, I, I do want to point out that even though you might be feeling like you're having an easier time with this, it doesn't mean that it didn't come with its own struggles for you up until leading up to this point, but that's okay. So, the next thing that I want to talk about here, and it is definitely related to this Knight of Swords energy for you, is uh, as all, for everybody, Mercury is going retrograde, right? But for you, Leo, Mercury is retrograde, will be retrograde back from your sixth house back into your fifth house. Um, I feel like this is giving you an opportunity to really set in motion this new form of expression. For some of you here, connected to this knight of swords energy the people around you might be really struggling at this time and because you are ahead of the curve or feeling like you're ahead of the curve you have the ability uh, the ability the ability the ability to ride in as kind of like someone's knight in shining armor to help somebody defend themselves or to help somebody keep it together okay you actually might be the one that's sounding the alarm this month i really wanted to keep my door open to do this reading for you leo because it's sunday and it's a beautiful morning and the sun is coming up and it's shining through i love it when the sun shines through my back door here but it was so noisy especially with the roosters and the chickens which is not uh, the roosters and the hens excuse me which is not abnormal those of you that have been following me here for the last Last year and a half know that I those damn chickens right okay but that was kind of pointing something out to me because I kind of feel like for some of you you are in fact sounding of the alarm and that's why this is kind of like this conjunction feels so blasé for you the conjunction between the Sun and Pluto it just feels so blasé for you I, I was literally hearing you say yeah tell me something I don't know and I'm not trying to say you're being disrespectful or anything like that it's just like you're you you know this already okay you have this understanding already so that could actually help put you in a position to help others so with mercury retrograde through your sixth house this month this is actually a time for you to be as helpful as you can this new perspective that has been that you have gained that has been influenced by uranus retrograde through aries in your ninth house the ninth house is about expansion the ninth house is about higher learning uh seeking out new adventures going and ex exploring 
alien worlds or foreign lands or something like that. Like you've already been, you, it's like you've already been thrown into the deep end. You were thrown into the deep end of the pool months ago. I'm hearing years ago, ages ago for some of you, but now is the time, but, but you've been able to learn to swim in this area. And so now you are able to help people do the same. Okay. So this is really not a time Leo for you to be saying, I told you so. <laughs> okay. Um, even though you might want to, you might, you might have a perfectly valid reason to say, I told you so Leo, but that's not necessary. That's not going to be helpful here. This is a time for you to help out. Okay. What do we have now? We have the two of wands to the wheel of fortune now, Leo, for you. Let me change the scene back here. Two of wands to the wheel of fortune. All right. There is a big change that's up ahead. And Leo, for some of you, you're kind of like, I kind of get this feeling that you are the, 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 the protector of the way forward from this energy. But what I'm getting here with the two of wands and the wheel of fortune here, uh, this feels more like the people around you. You are the, oh gosh, what is the term that I want to hear? I, I kind of want to say you're the ring bearer here, uh, but, um, and I know that's whatever, take it as it resonates, but it's as if you're standing at this crossroads, right? Saying to people, well, you can either go left or you could go right. Going left means we're staying where we are or where we've been. Going right means we're going with the change. And I highly encourage you to go right, says Leo. Okay. You're the, you're the keeper of the path. That's what I want to say. And then at the bottom of the deck here, you do have the queen of cups. Compassion is really your biggest ally this month. All right, Leo. Again, there is really no need to say, I told you so. That's not going to help anybody. All right. Um, now for some of you also, this energy here does include a new self care regimen. Um, because you know, with Mercury moving retrograde through your sixth house, I feel like if you've come to, um, okay, let me say this. This is also what I'm about to say. This is also connected to the fourth house here where you have Mars moving, transiting through right now. And I'm also picking up on this energy for you, Leo, of uh, caring for yourself differently, nurturing yourself differently, changing how you have done that, uh, which again is changing how you express yourself. Um, but some of you may be emerging out of this situation with a new self-care regimen, and that has everything to do with this new way of expressing yourself. All right. And with Mercury moving retrograde through your sixth house, I feel like from your sixth house to your fifth house, I feel like this is um, a perfect time for you to really implement this new self-care regimen, okay? Because I get this feeling as, as Mercury is moving retrograde back through the sixth house into your fifth house, this is allowing what it is you've learned, all this expansion that you've had, all this new philosophy that you've come to an awareness or an understanding of, and how that affects how you express yourself, but also how you care for yourself. With Mercury moving retrograde back into your fifth house, it's like you're aligning with that. It's like this is the opportunity for, re for you to really rewrite the programming and get in true alignment with this new way of expressing yourself. Now, with that said, Leo, uh, you do, oh, I thought, never mind. You do have, you do have the page of wands that has come out here in reverse. So uh, what that's telling me is some of you are having trouble maybe maybe tr having trouble but also not because because actually what i'm getting from this page of wands in reverse here i just heard waiting in the wings so it's almost as if you're waiting for you're waiting for your cue literally i get this feeling leo that there's a part of you here there's a part of the way that you express yourself or something that is waiting to emerge at this time and like you're literally standing in the wings 
waiting for your moment to go out on stage and express yourself in this way, okay? And that can definitely be empowered, emboldened by the Sun and Pluto conjunction here. Three of Pentacles is now coming out here. What is this spirit for Leo? Page of Wands, because now you have the Three of Pentacles that's come out in reverse. Aha, and then you have the Hermit. The Hermit is upright. Yeah, okay, so 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 Leo, this what this is saying to me here, connected to this sixth house energy, um, waiting to, it, wow, okay. And then I was just thinking about this. We're back to the Knight of Swords again at the bottom of the deck. So this Knight of Swords could be an energy of you emerging or uh, riding out into battle to help defend or to help people. But the Knight of Swords could also be just you kind of exploding out in this new energy, all right? And I get this energy of you just waiting in the wings right now. You've been doing a lot of work. You've been doing a lot of work on yourself. Self-mastery here, three of pentacles, rebuilding something. Page of wands, both the page of wands and the three of pentacles are in reverse, Leo. So I'm getting this feeling like you, you've been doing this all along. With this being in reverse, this is another reason why I kind of feel like this energy or this conjunction here, this empowerment energy that's coming forward, it's like, it's feeling blase for you because you're just like, yeah. <laughs> tell me something I don't know. Like I'm, you're already in alignment with it. And that's why I feel like this, these two cards here, the process of aligning with the new energy or the new vibration or the a new alignment or the new way of expressing yourself or the new way of relating to the world, page of wands and all of the work that comes with that, with building that presence, with understanding, with learning about that three of pentacles, this process is done. You're already in alignment with it. Again, Leo, you are ahead of the curve. And so here is your inner light shining forth, ready to emerge, okay? What else, what other energies, messages? What other messages do we have for Leo about, uh, in terms of this being ahead of the curve type of energy? What do we have for Leo? Ah. Beautiful. Okay. Um, so one of the other... Yes. <laughs> Dude, Leo, this Knight of Swords just keeps wanting to come out for you. Um, and so... Uh, one of the other titles that I had for you, the, the first title that I started with Leo was um, Embodying the Sun, because I just feel like, I feel like you're really in your element with this, because let's look back at the chart, because all of this that is happening here, Leo, is happening in your fifth house. This is your house. This is where you naturally find self-expression. This is naturally an easier time for you here or just an easy energy to flow with for you and then again with all of the expansion that has happened here all of the new things that you learned with uranus having been retrograde through aries in the ninth house for you leo you're embodying this already i just heard you're in lockstep with the universe here okay and so so to clarify that not only do you have the Knight of Swords here that just keeps wanting to come out, I feel like you are people's champion this month. But to, to, to clarify that, look, you have the Sun and Strength, okay? Which is both your energies, the Sun and Strength, right? You're holding your own, you're standing your ground, you're standing in your power, your ego is balanced. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, even more of your energy, the King of Wands. You're the leader here, Leo, all right? Also with this, you have the Six of Cups. So you're the Leo, uh, you're the Leo, duh. You're the leader, Leo, and, and it feels like this is perfect for you. Even though as a fixed energy, and even though this does involve change, I'm hearing you have successfully and sufficiently made this change yourself. So you, with your fixed energy in all your power and your glory this month, you are 
the keeper of the path. You can lead people forward and that fixed momentum or that fixed energy of yours will help guide people and keep people on that path. That's exactly what you do as a fixed sign. You take the direction that has been laid out already and you intend to maintain that direction. You intend to maintain that momentum. That's what a fixed sign naturally does very well and very easily. So again, Leo, embodying the sun, embodying the truth, embodying the light, allowing this to be expressed from you and then ultimately showing the way forward for others. King of Wands, wow, Leo. Wow, Leo, we're looking at the bottom of the deck here for you. King of Wands to the Eight of Pentacles, right? This is the energy of you leading the way and leading the charge and getting the, getting the job done, showing people how to get the job done. Underneath the Eight of Pentacles is the Queen of Wands. So yes, you're in direct alignment with this. With that, you have the King of Swords and then to the Magician. All right, it is what it is, objective thinking, okay? Non-emotional, Aquarius energy, um, but also fixed energy, right? This is really excellent for you. I wanna get, um, I, now I kinda wanna pull for advice on how to deal with some of the issues that may be coming up with people. You are people's champion this month, yes? Advice for Leo? Advice for Leo in dealing with the madness. <laughs> in dealing with the madness of the people. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. All right. So um, compassion is necessary here. You do have the wheel of fortune again. All right. This is big, great change. This is big, great change that is being influenced by the universe. Okay. There is, you have no control over this. Um, and that's kind of where this that King of Swords energy came through for you. Objective thinking, it is what it is, Leo. The change is happening. And even though you're a fixed sign, so you're not always all that down with change, again, you've already made the change within yourself. This is nothing new for you. You are just moving, you are just continuing forward on the path that you've already, that has already been laid out by the universe and that has you have already been walking anyway. So in terms of dealing with this your advice here is the two of cups to the emperor remain stern remain the leader keep the momentum going but make sure that you are compassionate okay you might want to i'm with the two of cups here i'm actually getting very specifically i'm getting a need to work with individuals or a need to work with people on a one-on-one -on -one basis Okay, so this is not the type of situation, Leo, depending on what it is you experience in the world or with the people around you this month, this is not the type of thing where like one size fits all for everybody, right? You can't just approach everybody's issues the same way. You have to approach it on an individualized basis. Okay. If you uh, at least, if you at least allow, no, 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 that doesn't mean that there couldn't be some solutions that like work for multiple people. But when it comes to hearing people out, allowing people to express themselves um, and, you know, trying to be this champion of change for them, Leo, uh, at least make sure that you listen to the individuals, you listen to them individually. Again, that doesn't mean that, you know, there couldn't be a, a one solution to fix a bunch of problems, but you at least need to hear people out on an individualized basis, okay? Don't let this emperor type of energy make you so cold that you're like, that you're missing certain nuances, okay? All right, Spirit wants me to close this out for you, Leo Rising. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna get that from the Oracle of the Seven Energies. Yes? Excellent. Five shuffles here. One. Two, three, four, and five. All right, closing Oracle Guidance for Leo Rising for the month of January 2022. Spirit. Uh, okay, 
Overall energy for you, Leo, is card number eight into me, I see. You, Leo, the, the, the transit of Uranus moving retrograde through Aries in your ninth house, it feels like it has influenced you to really see deeper into yourself. And because of that now, and this feels like it's confirmation as to why you're having such a good or such an easy time with what's happening here because this is happening in your fifth house. But the confirmation is here. You have five, card number five as your closing oracle guidance, body and soul. So the reason why you are probably having a really easy time with this is because you have integrated more of your body and your soul together you may have really been focusing on inner child healing dealing with a lot of things from childhood even with this with with um with this that's beautiful leo yeah that's really beautiful okay that's what i have for you right yes excellent there you go, Leo. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am going to pause for a second, reset, and then we're going to shift into the overall energy, the big general reading for the energy of Leo. Yeah? Stay tuned. Alrighty, guys. Welcome, welcome to the second half of this reading. So if you skipped the first half for Leo Rising and you're just tuning in now, hello. Welcome to January. Yes, January of 2022. So this is the most general part of the reading here. This part of the reading is non-denominational, okay? So regardless as to whatever, whatever form of astrology that you work with, this is just a big old general energy pull for the sign of Leo. So this is Sun, Moon, Rising. Venus, whatever other placement you have within Leo. And also this could be, uh, we could be speaking to a cross watcher here as well. All right. So I'm going to get started here. We're going to move, we're going to use the energy Oracle deck. Now, Leo, the vibe for you here is kind of feeling like you're ahead of the curve this month. We have a conjunction between the sun and Pluto that could be disrupting a lot for people, um, making people very aware of certain things. Um, there's a lot of power being infused within us this week. I'm uh, not this week, this month with this conjunction between the sun and Pluto and then the full moon happening the next day. So empowerment, right? But Leo, it feels like this is four. It feels like where you, where others may have a really difficult time with this, may really be struggling with this, may feel like they're being overloaded here. This is five. Leo, it doesn't feel like that for you. It feels like whatever changes that are being influenced within the collective this month, you are already embodying. You are showing up to the party with this already in place with you. One of one of the phrases that I'm hearing for Leo right now is you are in lockstep with the universe here or whatever the universe has been guiding you to learn, to, to expand on, to grow from. So the big thing for you, Leo, this, this month is really allowing the new that you have been experiencing or the new that you've put into place to really shine forward for, from you because you are, it's like you're leading the way for people around you this month, or at least you have the ability, the opportunity, the, the proficiency to lead the way and to lead people down this path again, because you are already embodying whatever is being called for here. Okay. So for Leo, what's going on for Leo? What messages do we have for Leo this month? Yes. Yes. Okay. So uh, what's come out here for you, Leo, is a similar energy that came out for Leo rising in that part of the reading. You might want to watch it just because for shits and giggles. Okay. But it also, it might resonate for you, even if you're not a Leo rising. But the first card that came out for you, Leo, is indecision here, which is similar to the two of wands energy okay and that did come out for leo rising and that's part of what i'm i feel like you are the keeper of the path this month okay and you can really 
help people with a certain level of indecision. With this, um, you can well, you can you can help people choose, right? I feel like you're standing here at this path, at this crossroads, excuse me, kind of explaining to people or showing people that you know there is a new there is a new way forward. I have the key. I know how to I know how to walk this path. You can come with me. I mean, obviously you don't have to, but you can come with me. The opportunity is there. We, you can either go left and stay in the current environment or we can go right and I can show you a new way forward. And because of that, Leo, you are actually kind of feeling like somebody's angel, guardian angel. Some people, with the, with the way that you may be able to help people this month or to lead people this month, to quell their fears, to help them heal, whatnot, whatever, some people may be coming forward to you saying, oh my God, you're like a guardian angel. Like, you're my guardian angel. Like, who are you? Like, but... And, and this is not necessarily typical for your energy, Leo, because as a fixed sign, you know, Leos, Scorpios, Aquarians, Tauruses, we all have trouble with change, right? We have the most trouble with change as fixed signs. But again, Leo, it's not about, it's not about inducing change at this point for you. And you're not so helpful because you're inducing change. You are helpful because you are helping. You are your fixed energy is, or can help to set the momentum and keep the momentum going in terms of this change. So your fixed energy actually really comes in handy at this moment. But again, Leo, I really wanna, I really wanna reiterate, reiterate this, and Spirit also wants to reiterate this. You have already made this change. You are ahead of the curve here, Leo. And so that's why you are able to help people move forward down this new path. At the bottom of the deck is adjacent possibilities. There's something mysterious about this new path. I think, Leo, I think especially with Uranus being retrograde through Aries, specifically for Leo rising, that's happening in the ninth house. Um, I just feel like you're aware of you have an i just heard you have an expanded ability to perceive of the adjacent possibilities that this new path provides to us this new path looks very i'm sorry it looks very bright whereas the old path looks very dark okay So you, the next card that came out here is community. It did come in, come out in reverse. Um, and th there's a heavy focus of, on the people around you this month, Leo. And I really, again, I really feel like you have the opportunity to really help people, okay? But what I'm getting with community in reverse is it kind of feels like uh, your community is shook or the community of people around you are experiencing some extreme change. And it's like, it's like, the sky is falling, very much chicken little type of energy, but the sky may not actually falling, but there actually is big, big grand change happening around you. It feels like the community of people around you, um, within this community, these people feel like everything is broken. Like nothing is the same anymore. And that's entirely correct. But Leo, again, you know the way forward. You can help people doorway to spirit. Um, this might feel, this might seem unusual for you, but again, with the, all the expansive energy that has been happening here with Jupiter, um, I'm sorry, with, uh, Uranus being retrograde through Aries, I feel like you got an expanded point of view. You found access to spirit somehow. And that skill that you've developed can be used to help other people find their way here. And then you have appreciation again leo the appreciation that's coming through here is on behalf of the community i really uh and then you have angel of love also that that uh, flipped out in the deck i feel like a lot of people are going to be showing their appreciation for you because of your ability to help people move forward and a lot of this leo comes from you just standing 
in your in your power, in your light, in this new form of expression and just expressing it. It's not like you really have to do anything much extra, right? Other, <laughs> even though we know how Leos love to be extra sometimes, but but you don't have to be extra. You just be yourself, okay? You are bringing forward this embodiment of a new connection with spirit somehow, all right? And some of you actually at the bottom of the deck here now, Leo, you do have door to value. So some of you actually may be making a hell of a lot of money with this. Somehow your business is your business is changing. Your business is expanding. If you are in the realm of self-help or not self-help, but like if you're like a guru or something or whatever, this actually may end up being a really lucrative time for you. And this all has to do, like, you benefit from this in this way, Leo, because, again, you're ahead of the curve. I'm going to get into some tarot here for you. Five shuffles. One. Two. Three. For my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Leo Collective, M5. Woo! All right, that just wanted to come out. Okay. Overall energy from the Tarot for you here. <laughs> Death. Yep. Transformation. But then at the bottom of the deck, all right, so the, the, the death card came out here while I was shuffling, right? It popped out. So this is really the overall energy of the message from this point of view, from the tarot here, death and transformation. But Leo, I'm hearing this very, very clearly. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Wands. You are leading the way here. This Eight of Wands is telling me that you know the way path, the way forward, where whereas others around you can't see, can't see... Hmm. In some cases, can't see past their own nose. Can't make heads of tail heads or tails of anything. Can't see the way forward. Leo, you see it clearly, bright as day. Like some of you may be standing there saying, like, y'all don't see that door, that wide open door right there? No. No. Because they're too wrapped up in their feelings. They're too they're too shook by this explosion of power this month or this ex and, and and for some of the people around you or maybe even you but for some of the people around you um they are being made starkly aware of something and in such an extreme way that it paralyzes them maybe even feels like may blind them but leo you know the way forward because you've done this already right here in this lifetime. I'm not talking about, oh, you've spent past lives doing this. No, you did this just now in this lifetime. You made this transformation yourself. So of course, universally speaking, the universe is coming through and saying like, of course, Leo knows the way they've done it. Use that fixed energy of yours to set the momentum and get people on this path. Yes? Mm, not necessarily get people on this path because technically the universe is kind of throwing us into it, but keep people on the path. There you go. Ouch. Okay, let's see. What else do we have for Leo here? Please, here? Five. Yeah. Yeah, see? Okay, all right, all right, all right. So the next part, the next part of this message, Leo, is um, very much connected to part of what I said in the Leo rising part. So if you really do find yourself in a leadership position, able to show people the way forward because you are so solid in yourself, overall energy is the king of pentacles. You're so solid and grounded, like you, like, like, I kind of want to say for some of you, 
you may be feeling so bold as to say, this is child's play, right? But okay, I mean like, all right, that's a little arrogant of you, but still Leo, it, it's, it's not without reason because like you're so solid here, right? King of Pentacles, okay. So if you find yourself in a position to really be able to help people, What's very important is to make sure that you stay as compassionate as possible. Try not to take a one size fits all approach. Even if there are certain solutions that may work for multiple situations, the best thing for you to do is to approach individuals that may be coming to you for help or for guidance at this time on a one-on-one -on -one basis, okay? You have the three of swords with the four of swords, okay? Uh, that's the first two cards here. And of course, we're talking about in relation to this transformation. Now, you, I, I'm hearing, Leo, that you really could be that voice of reason here. You want to stay calm. You want to keep a calm atmosphere. The more, the calmer you stay, even though people around you may be lo absolutely losing their shit, right? The calmer you stay, the better this empowerment will be for you okay because you will because your calm demeanor will help others not freak out so much but then you have the page of swords with the moon the eight of cups the two of cups and then the eight of wands again so listen page of swords to the moon to the eight of cups first thing i'm hearing with the page of swords is listen to people's fears but also people could be coming to you asking for help, looking for guidance. And your guidance here is to help. And what you really need to be doing is helping them get through the shadow aspect so that they can move away from whatever it is they need to move away from. Two of cups here to the eight of, eight of wands. The eight of wands, again, clear path forward. The two of cups is representing the compassion and companionship that is needed here. And the two of cups did come out for Leo rising in which I was saying, um, you need to approach these individuals or these situations on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Again, even though there may be some solutions that could fit uh, multiple situations, you don't want to approach this as a one size fits all type of situation, okay? Really try to be as compassionate and po as possible. Okay. All right, I'm gonna close this out then, Leo. We're gonna get Oracle guidance for you from the magic of the unicorns Oracle, yeah? Five shuffles, one, oh. one, two, three, four, and five. Oh, try that again. Five. All righty. Closing Oracle Guidance for Leo, please, Spirit. Okay. Card number 11 is overall energy here. Look for the signs. Pay attention. Expect an answer. Okay. That's cool. And then the two cards that have come out for you here, you have card number 17. Go with the flow. Relax and trust. Accept what is happening. And that's really just a reminder for you, Leo, because of the fixed energy within you. But again, I don't feel like... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Again, you're keeping the momentum of the change that's happening this month, right? So almost... So <laughs> This is kind of funny, Leo. So whereas... In other situations in which change is happening, someone may be saying to you, can we just go with the flow, please? Because fixed signs really don't like change, have great difficulty with it sometimes. But Leo, you've already made this change within yourself. So now, ironically, you're the one that's coming through saying, let's just go with the flow, guys. Just trust me. I know how this is gonna work out or I know how this can work out. Trust me, I've been here before. Let's just go with the flow here. Hmm. Right. And then finally, you have card number 33, Cosmic Sapphire. Act with honor and integrity. Speak your truth. Easy. Easy for you, Leo. Because you tend to be 
strong in your honor and your integrity anyway. All right, so that just feels like encouragement to allow yourself to just go with the flow and express whatever is being expressed, wanting to be expressed through you into the collective at this time, okay? All right, Leo, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a personal reading with me, whether that be through astrology or tarot or both, definitely hit me up. All the information can be found in the description box below. You will also be able to find my Patreon link there if you would like some extra content from me throughout the month. If you would like to join the family and help to support the channel, that is an excellent way to do it. Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. Link can be found in the description box below. With that said, I hope you have a, guys have a fantastic month. I love you so much, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of February. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Bye. <laughs>